Four years ago today, Jose Gutierrez's family says he was unjustly beaten by Border Patrol agents. Today, his family and others took to the streets to rally for all victims of police brutality. Gutierrez was deported in 2011. He then tried to come back through the San Luis port of entry a few days later to be with his young children and family. Agents say as he tried to escape back to Mexico, he fell and hit his head. As Nine Your Size Whitney Clark explains, his family plans to continue the fight. Whitney. That's right, Stella Guy. Jose Gutierrez's wife told me today in the past few years some progress has been made. They now know the names of the Border Patrol agents involved in the incident and say some officers are now wearing body cameras. However, the Gutierrez family says they still have a lot of work to do. This is what Jose Gutierrez looked like days after his family says he was beaten by Border Patrol agents, something they say was no accident. This shouldn't happen. This should never have happened in the first place. After brain surgery and a four-week coma, Jose's wife Shayna says he suffers seizures, something she says no one deserves. He did try to run back to Mexico. Uh, does that justify a beating? Does that justify tasering? No, not at all. So these are cases that are crying out for justice. Today, dozens of people gathered on 4th Avenue to rally for Gutierrez. Justice, hate, impunity, no! They held signs and chanted, not just for Gutierrez, but for all of those who say they've been mistreated by police. Maybe illegal, maybe not. It doesn't matter. They're human beings. Among those in the crowd, the mother of 19-year-old Carlos Le Madrid, who was shot and killed by agents. Yo les pido justicia. Yo no les pido nada. Yo no quiero dinero. His mother, Guadalupe, says she doesn't want money, she doesn't want anything, just justice. The Southern Border Communities Coalition says the agents involved in these cases still haven't been held accountable. These abuses need to stop. Most of the cases that we've seen, we believe they've been unjustified. There's been ex an extreme use of force. For now, the two families standing and marching together until they say justice is served. Gutierrez was granted an emergency stay and is living in Southern California, but could be deported again. He filed a lawsuit against the agents involved, and they have a hearing in May in Phoenix. We did reach out to Border Patrol. The agency was not able to release a statement today about the case. Live in the newsroom, Whitney Clark, KGA 9 on your side. Whitney, thank you.